So today I'm going to talk to you guys about um, this tequila bottle. I love this tequila bottle in particular. This brand Ornitos. Ornitos. They have different ones. Um, they have Añejo. They have Silver. They have Reposado as well. Before I tried this bottle in particular, I used to love um, Reposado. That was my favorite bottle to get of Ornitos. But after trying this bottle... I just fell in love, and ever since then, I, I, it's been about a year and a half now that I've been buying it, like, occasionally. Um, usually, it ranges price-wise from 30 to 40 bucks. I got it on sale, luckily, for $21, which was a nice deal. Um, I got it at BevMo. It is also sold at CVS in some of them, um, depending where you live. But I have seen it at CVS. I bought it at Walmart, but... In particular, the main place to go for this bottle would be BevMo. And what's really unique about this bottle is that the tequila is actually aged in whiskey, uh, whiskey, my bad, <laughs> whiskey, whiskey barrels, as it says right here, it states right there, double aged in whiskey barrels. And when I tell you whiskey barrels, you can actually smell the whiskey in the tequila shot. And you know what's satisfying about this um, bottle in particular is not only the simple design, but the flavor. So there are shots, in my opinion, of tequila that you can taste and tolerate and, and you can actually take the shot and enjoy it. And then there are shots that are disgusting, but they taste good in mixed drinks. That's just my opinion. Again, you don't have to agree with me on this. But this uh, tequila bottle is a very highly rated favorite for me for taste, quality, and packaging, and pricing. And I feel like you guys will like this. If you like whiskey, you will like this bottle. It's a tequila. And it smells, you know, like whiskey. It, it doesn't taste like whiskey a lot, but you can have a hint of that whiskey taste in there. And I, I, I really do hope that, you know, you would uh, like this bottle, like the taste and everything. So um, I hope you guys do like it and enjoy it. This is one of my top, top favorites of tequilas. If you want to take a shot straight, this would be the shot. But if you wanted a shot to mix drinks with, I wouldn't say this would be the, the one to do it with. I'm not saying that it wouldn't taste good with it. I'm just saying that this is a type of shot you would want to take to taste. You know, the taste of this is very unique. And you will know what I mean when you taste it. So, uh, give it a try. This video right here, uh, I'm going to let you know right now. You know, um, I already did taste a few shots for you guys. So, if I talk kind of funny, it's because, you know. I had a shot or two, but um, anyways, besides the point, I'm going to um, open this. If I could just, if I could just get it to open. I'm going to get some help right now. Okay. Oh, man, you guys, you are missing out if you haven't tried this shot. And I say that as a person that likes to drink tequila shots, you know. If you don't like tequila shots... Okay, that's your preference, but this has a sweetness to it that I cannot even compare. I can't compare it to any of the other shot I've had, and I've tried um, multiple tequila bottles, okay? So, I'm about to taste this shot for you guys, even though I already know what it tastes like, but I, I just want you guys to... Cheers. Ha! I just want you guys to know. Again, sorry. I'm a little bit tipsy already, probably, but I don't know. Anyways, um... <laughs> I hope you guys do like this one. It's really good. You guys, it's delicious. Okay, so I'm about to try the shot for you guys. Even though, again, I said that I already, you know, take, they said it before. I really like this shot. It's so good. You do taste, the, you know, a little hint of whiskey like I told you guys. The smell. The color is, you know... That's the color of it. It kind of looks like honey. It's kind of, I feel like I taste honey in there. I could be wrong, but it's oaky. It has a little like sweetness to it, but not a lot. Okay. Just like a bare minimum of it. 
um, I enjoy this shot because I am not only a person that likes tequila, I like um, whiskey as well, you know, and like I said, this one is pretty good, you know, so if, if you like something that's not too harsh, this is good. I'm not um, going to say that this would be something that um, doesn't burn your throat a little bit, but it does because, like, again, it's aged in whiskey barrels. Keep that in mind. Whiskey is a... Uh, has a lot more alcohol content um it, it tends to be a little bit more rough when you uh, consume that as opposed to a tequila shot depending on what brand of tequila and what kind of te tequila that you do drink so i just need you to know that this tequila is bomb as fuck i don't i mean hey i had to say it so hey <laughs> this is good really good you know for me, this is a five out of five. This this is my personal opinion, my personal preference. You don't have to take it um, to its fullest um, uh, uh, level of honesty with me. I mean, you could take it with a grain of salt until you try it, but hey, not bad for the price. I've seen tequilas for like $100, like Don Julio's and all that. And I try it and I'm like, what the, you know what I mean? It's not even worth trying, you know what I mean, to begin with. A hundred dollars. I'm like sipping on it for like a what a dollar a shot, and it's not even worth a damn dollar. So <laughs> this is worth it. So yeah, let me know what you think, you guys. You okay. So now this is other bottle for fifteen dollars that I got at Bevmo. It said it was from the Primer Collection. I've never tried this bottle in my life. It's a Blanco Tequila. So for those of you that are familiar with uh, tequila bottles, there is like Blanco or like silver, right? And then they have gold or reposado, right? And then they have um, Añejo, which is supposed to be the strongest type of tequila. It, it normally would come in a brownish color, but this is silver, right? Silver Blanco or, you know? So let's see. It says we're here made in Mexico. That's the way the bottle looks. And it says it's a 100% blue agave. So supposedly, according to the label, right? It says right here, uh, the tequila is quality and matched. The one that they, you know, sell, Luna Azul, right? Or unless they combine it and it's Luna Azul. I don't know. I like to say Luna Azul. That's just me. But Luna Azul. I don't know what the hell. Whatever. So anyways, the whole point is I'm going to try it right now. So. Uh, I need my helping hands <laughs> right here. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I should have thought this through these guys. Ooh. Okay, okay. I got a different uh, shot glass because I don't want to risk mixing it you know with the other flavors and stuff and whatnot so okay i'll let you guys know how this tastes how this baby tastes so now i'm going to try this shot for you guys again like i said i got it at bevmo for 15 dollars okay mind me i'm already a little tipsy so 15 dollars and it's a Bevmo's private collection. It's a silver tequila, silver tequila, blanco tequila, whatever the hell. So let me let me try it now. It it smells really bad. <laughs> it smells like rubbing alcohol. I'll just let you know right off the bat. I know I like a lot of things, but this, like I just I don't know. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll try. This, let me gather myself, oh shit, let me gather myself, hold on, this, let me censor it, uh, this S-H-I-T tastes worse than El Jimador, and I do not like El Jimador, if you like El Jimador, that's you, but, this tastes worse than El Jimador, okay, you guys, so, no, it's harsh, if you guys know what I mean about El Jimador, this is worse than that. All right, it's, it is a rubbing alcohol. Thank you, helping hands. <laughs> no. Um, that is not, if I could say zero out of five stars, I would. 
like Yelp, you know, when you review some shit on Yelp, zero, 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 negative zero, non-existent. That's what negative zero is, non-existent in my category. Oh. I haven't. <laughs> yeah, no, thumbs down with this one, you guys. Disgusting. No, okay, no. So as you can see, I'm already almost done with this bottle. I did enjoy it, honestly. Um, you know how I mentioned earlier that there are um, silver or plato, right? That's what they say. Or blanco. And then they have um, reposado and then they have añejo. Okay, so basically, the only difference between all those three, which would be blanco, reposado, and añejo is the fact that the silver ones are considered to be the most freshest uh, brewed tequilas, whereas reposado tequilas are considered to be aged more. It could be up to 18 months, so they're aged for a little bit more. And they usually have vanilla hints, garden herbs and are brewed with wood as well they're meant to have a clean and dry earthy type of taste to them like with pepper along with pepper and cardamom so that's pretty interesting right añejo on the other hand is the strongest because it's it's aged more for a longer period of time it could be up to a period of yeah. Sorry I got cut off you guys, but um, what I was trying to finish saying is that Añejo is intended to be the strongest tequila in the sense of how the effect you feel with it. So the more aged a tequila is, the stronger the feeling will be for you. And usually it, like I said earlier, uh, in case you guys didn't hear because I did get cut off, they're usually aged between one to three years and are considered to be the best kinds of um, tequila to um, consume for the smoothness of the flavor. They're also considered to be vintage. So that's what añejo means, right? Vintage. And they are darker in color than the silver and reposado Tequilas. So I understand that you already seen a reposado tequila that was in a browner uh, color, but I just want you to understand that añejo tends to be in a darker color, and that the blanco tequilas are usually, almost always, but from what I've seen, silver like glass, like see through, like this bottle over here. So now I'm going to try the tequila bottle that I told you guys about, which is the Milagro. Yeah, I got some helping hands over here. Oh. <laughs> it's okay as a tequila that's an emergency tequila. You know what I mean? If you want tequila to go, and that's the last bottle you see. I mean, I would say it's a last resort. You know, if you're going to be in an Uber, you're going to go somewhere and, and you're, you're planning a drink but not drive and you're going to go to pre-game before you go to a, excuse me, pre-game before you go to a club or to a lounge. Again, like I told you guys, I already had a few to drink. So anyways, um, this would be a three and a half out of five for me only because it's a little rough, you know, like the flavor, the um, harshness of it, the alcohol and the smell of it is not... It's a little bit overwhelming for me. Oh, snap. Okay, I got people over here, you know, sharing and stuff without me. But anyways, <laughs> this, okay. <laughs> this shot is okay. This is a party shot, okay? I don't think this would be a mixing shot. Like, to, to in, in other words, to put in, like, margaritas and stuff. It's not all that. Mm -hmm. It's more like you just uh, drink it, just down it type of shot. Don't even wait on it and taste it because it's going to burn your throat a, a bit, you know? Like I said earlier, it's not like El Gemador. And, and this bottle right here, no. No, no, and no. So, 
yeah, it's better than that bottle for sure. But yeah. So for my uh, whiskey video that I'm going to be doing, this is a favorite uh, whiskey of mine that I like to buy. It's called Quarter Horse. There are two types. This one is Kentucky Bourbon, but there's another bottle of Quarter Horse that is made with rye in it. And I like the flavor of this one more in particular. This is just my preference. Um, it's aged right here for a minimum of one year in New Oak. The flavor is really smooth. And you do smell the alcohol a bit. I mean, it is 92 proof and it is 46% 40, alcohol. But uh, I highly recommend it. For me, it is a 4 out of 5 stars. 9 out of 10 if it's it's on a scale and I'm going to be drinking this today and I hope that you guys like it the price ranges from about tip typically give or take 35 to 48 bucks I was able to get it for $31 and um, it's usually at BevMo again I like going to BevMo personally I mean I like their selection that they have available um, again, it's just my preference. I do like this one. There are a lot of harsh uh, whiskeys out there, but I like this one for the flavor of it. And I do like to drink it on rocks or on the ice with, you know, just plain whiskey by itself. I have tried this with like, um, I would say like peach iced tea as well and then just adding whiskey to it. So it is good for mixed drinks. Um, I've even added it to natural lemonade as well, and I, I do recommend it. So I hope that you guys do like it. Yeah, I really like this one. The oak, it's very oaky in this bo uh, bo whiskey bottle in particular, the Four Horsemen. Quarter Horse, sorry, Quarter Horse. I keep calling it Four Horsemen, but it's actually Quarter Horse. I do like this one a lot. If you don't want to have to consume a lot of um, alcohol, and you want something that's strong, and you want to take your time and have a good time, a chill time, you know, and make sure that you're, you know, just, you know, out and about having a good time and, and drinking in moderation, I recommend this drink. I mean, you don't always have to drink a 12-pack of beer or go overboard with, you know, I don't recommend going overboard with drinking at all, but I do know that everyone has a different um, tolerance for the intake of um, alcohol that they consume, but I do recommend this for people that, um, again, with the low-calorie intake, this would be a good um, option for um, people that are watching their calorie intake with um, consuming alcohol and for uh, people that don't like to drink a lot of alcohol and that they like to taste alcohol on its own without mixing anything, without mixing it with Sprite and Coke and what I mentioned earlier, peach teas. I feel that this would be a reliable drink to have straight with, you know, with ice and you're good to go, you know. So hopefully you, you like this one. You do feel, uh, when you consume it, you do feel the, the the strength, well, not the strength, but the a little bit of that harshness of alcohol. However, whiskey, most whiskeys that I have tried are a lot more harsh than these are. So I just wanted to uh, let you know if you are someone that does drink whiskey a lot, you would understand what I mean when I say that this is a smoother whiskey than most whiskeys out there. And a lot less harsh than other whiskeys out there. But if you're someone that does not drink a lot of whiskey. And this is your first type of whiskey. Um, first time at all. I wouldn't recommend it as your first whiskey. I would recommend it after you get used to the taste of different whiskeys. And then you can try this, you know. So just wanted to let you know and hope you keep that in mind. So, yeah. So right now I'm going to try two types of Bucana bottles. Um, for the video I'm doing. Um, I understand it's not tequila, but I feel that it would be nice to include, you know, some 
different variation, so I decided to include uh, two, these two whiskeys. And um, I'm going to try them, actually. So I normally always get the typical 12-year aged green bottle, but today um, I've decided to try two other types of whiskey bottles that uh, Bucanas has or Bucanins as I've heard on the, as I've heard on on like the other videos and stuff so yeah we're gonna try it so this is the Bucanas master that's how the bottle looks it's actually blended scotch whiskey my bad but um this is what it looks like Uh, looks like a nice bottle, right? Let's see the taste is nice too, right? But um, this is what the bottle looks like. It has those two gold um, embellishments on both sides of the bottle and it has a gold uh, rim and This is the box Bucan master This is the way it looks Okay, this is right there, certified over 100 years ago by Sir James, Scotch Whiskey from Pioneer. So yeah, this is what it looks like, and I already poured myself a shot, so let's see how it tastes. So I have this shot now. Smells good. Let me see how it tastes though. Okay. <clears throat> so it has more flavor than the green bottle. It has more flavor. It's a little bit more harsh, like, um, you can definitely taste alcohol in it, but it has more flavor. I know it sounds retarded, but it really does. Like, I could definitely see this as, um, like, mixing it with, um, soda, right? Like, cranberry juice, pineapple juice. This is really good. I, I like the sweetness to it. So it has a sweetness to it, but you can taste the alcohol. A lot but I, I like it I like the flavor like it has more flavor than the green bottle does but it's not as smooth there you go it's not as smooth as the green bottle is like the uh, the default 12 year aged bottle so it's interesting you know but definitely I would recommend for uh, mixed drinks to drink it on its own maybe not but like I said um, you would have to try for yourself and you'll see what I mean when I say it has more flavor, but it's not smooth, you know? So, I don't know. It's interesting, though. So, yeah. Not bad. Um, I would definitely buy again, but I don't think I'll ever taste it on its own again, you know? I definitely would prefer to drink this in a margarita or in a... Like I mentioned earlier, with soda, uh, cranberry juice, pineapple juice, something like that. I would definitely prefer to drink this again in a mixed drink as opposed to drinking it on its own again. So that's how that one went. It was the, again, I'm, I'm going to show you the box. This is the um, one I tried right now. And yeah, I recommend it for mixed drinks mainly. So uh, yeah, let's see how the next one tastes. Yep. So I already tried this one, right? But um, what I've just noticed just now, because I pulled out this um, bottle from this one right now. It's 18 years, aged 18 years. But anyways, what I was trying to say is that um, what I noticed about this is that all the bottles seem to look the same. But you'll notice the very slight difference only would be the top. It's bronze in the brown package of the 18-year bottle as opposed to the uh, master box 
you know where the top is gold and the emblems on the side as well so let me show you here we go here's this one so here's this bottle the shape is different too so it looks bigger honestly in size in comparison to this but they're actually the same amount um, of liquor they both have the same amount of liquor so this is 750 ml 750 ml well milliliters you get the point but the only difference is the shape so this is more long this is more um, circular and obviously what it says on the on the bottle this one says master this one says 18 year this one has a, a bronze top you see that maybe the flash is kind of not showing the color but that's that color and this top over here is gold like lighter gold and then the emblems on the sides so you see the little slight difference there but yeah, I'm about to try this one. I've always only had the the green one, right? The 12 year aged bottle, and I'm about to try it right now. So now um, the seal is gonna get broken for the 18 year bottle from the 18 year bottle, my bad. And I'm going to pour up this new shot so that you guys know. I probably should have had like two shots side by side to see if the color was different, but um, too late for that now. I do feel that this is a lot more lighter in color than the other one, but I, I mean that could just be me, I don't know. So I'm about to try it, I'm going to let you guys know what I think about this one, if we could drink it straight without you know mixing it in drinks or not, I'll let you know right now in a bit. So now I'm going to try the aged 18 year blended scotch whiskey special reserve James uh, Bucanas shot. I mean in my culture, I call it Bucanas, I'm not really sure what culture um, that uh, you come from and, and it's totally fine if you guys call it uh, Bucanians, Buc any name, maybe you guys call it Bucanians, I, I don't know. But I have always called it Pucanas, so um, that's just again that in my culture that's how we call it. In in my um, in the Mexican culture we do call it Pucanas, and um, I don't have a problem calling it like that, and I don't have a problem with you calling it a different name. So yeah, the whole point is it's the same bottle that people refer to in different ways, different spellings. But I just want to let you know where I'm coming from. And that's how I've always called it, ganas. So, <laughs> all right. So to the point. Let me see. This one smells a lot nicer, like more sweet, than the other one, the other shot I just took, the master shot. <laughs> mm. Oh. Okay, so this one, you could take it as a shot. It's a lot more smooth. It has a lot more flavor. I feel that this one is a lot smoother than the... <clears throat> I wanted to burp. <laughs> this one is a lot more smoother than the master um, shot that I took right now and the green bottle. The age 12 year one. The age 12 year Bucana bottle. So I would definitely, out of all these three, I mean, I don't have the third one here, but... Um, I wish I did what I, you know, I should have bought the other one too, but out of uh, the three that I've tried, the two I just tried and the one I've always had, the book, or, you know, the generic, not generic, the original age 12 year Bucana bottle, I would like to say that the 18 years is my favorite. I would definitely buy it again. I mean, it was pricier than the other two bottles than the master bottle and the regular age 12 year bottle so uh, I got it for $65 and normally it's what 85 90 some even go up to almost 100 
that's why I, you know, felt like, you know what, why not try it? Why not get it? It's always not $65. So I got that one at that price. For the master, it was about 40 bucks. So maybe with tax it was like 45. And again, that one is normally 60 bucks. So um, you know, I just decided why not try it. I like bucanas a lot. <laughs> The other one, the 12-year one, but now my my new favorite is the 18-year bottle. The other one is sweeter in taste, the master bottle. And it, it's just a lot more harsh, like it's not smooth at all. So like I said, that one I would definitely recommend for mixed drinks. Highly recommend. And for the 18-year one that I just tried, the 18-year Bucana bottle, I just tried the brown one. I would definitely recommend drinking it as a shot or in mixed drinks, however you like at your own discretion. So yeah, that this is um, just a little plot twist on the tequila shots I was um, showing you guys and I felt like it would be um, cool to just show you some of the you know whiskeys too. Uh, well, blended scotch whiskeys, but you get the point. So yeah, let me know what you think and I hope that you like this review uh, again these are the first times that I'm trying those two Bucanas bottles the master one and the 18 year one and in the past I've only had the 12 year one so I figured why not you know for you know for you guys try these other bottles so yeah another thing that I wanted to add um, my apologies but the master bottle I did look it up and it is aged 15 years as opposed to uh, the 18 year bottle that I tried, the Bucana, the brown, darker brown color one the, with the bronze top, that one has a better taste. So maybe that has to do with why it tastes a lot better than the master bottle because of the, you know, the aging process. It's 15 years and then the 18 year bottle is obviously aged 18 years. So, I mean, maybe that's why I liked it more. It's been aged longer. Maybe the taste was, um, better preserved so I just wanted to add that in there in case you were curious so um, one last thing I wanted to share with you guys is for you to share um, what you think I should add in my upcoming videos should I have more details should I add prices um, you could also name any other types of bottles you would like for me to try gin uh, vodka tequila whiskey um, just let me know um, what you would like for me to talk about next time. Uh, thank you so much for your time and please like and subscribe. Bye!